In this video, I'm going to show you how robust uh, Firefox is by shutting it down using the Task Manager. The Task Manager is uh, called up by hitting Control Shift Delete. Control Shift Delete. I'm going to hit it here. It'll ask me what I want to do with that Control Shift Delete. I mean Control Alt Delete. Control Alt Delete is the famous three key the key hit that fix anything uh, Microsoft. In that, I'm going to click here to Firefox, and I'm going to click End Process. Of course, you could end it a lot of other ways. I'm just showing you how robust it is. I'm going to kill Firefox, then I'm going to start it up again. And what you'll see Firefox will do is it will start up all of the programs I'm using and do it in uh, with the configuration I saved in the in the video I showed you earlier. I'll remind you and show you that again. But here. It usually asks if you want to start a new session or restore the old one. Depends where you are, but I always ask it to start a new session. So we'll see as it's signing up, it's it's all these little things are spinning around telling me it's signing up to all the programs. Oh, I have Gmail, I have the calendar, I have some links. So here's Adventures for you. And I'm going to show you starting each one up. Adventures for you will come up with my referral. So it, I have it come up to my... Uh, my referral things so I I know this is mine because this is my account so I just click surf on ACN RoboForms filled this information out I have to enter in the turning number and I click login I click login RoboForm will ask me do I want to save it again click close it will log in into my account and then I click start surfing I go to the next one and this one's already logged in. I click here to start surfing. And pay it forward, the same thing. Doesn't have the silly turning number. In GRS Global, the same thing. RevShare Global is another name for it. In this Yes, I Can Share, I have to do that same stuff. So I'm going to do that. Enter the turning number. Enter login. It'll ask me, do I want to change? I say no. It's logging in. I find the start surfing, I click start surfing. In windfall hits, very simple, just click next. 15 ads daily, I slide down here and this is where the login for this one is. So I enter 42953, click login. Again, don't let RoboForm update, just click close. Then I click Start Surfing on 15 Ads Daily. This one, it already fills in the login, and I just click Login. Then I click View Sites. Now, all of them are running, and I simply go through and click Surf. View Next. And, and as you see the little goodie spinning up here, means that it's thinking and downloading the information. And click here. GRS Global, I do the same. Click here. Yes, I can share. Some of them are very annoying. You'll see why I don't use pop-ups and all these annoying, uh, uh, what do you call these, scrolling text and nasty flash things. They just slow everything down. Um, my advertisements are just plain old text, simple, grab your attention. And, and I click each and I just go through this. I go through this till this one, Adventures for You, is uh, goes to zero. So if that goes to zero, all of these will uh, uh, go to whatever their counts are. And you just cycle around from, from left to right and keep going through and do this till you surf each one I surf each one 25 times. Each one's different, but you know, like obviously 15 ads daily, you only need to do it 15 times. But I just surf extra because you get extra credit. So I don't quite know how much extra credit you get, but it's better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. Some of the URLs will not go to anywhere. This be very careful and make sure you don't do this. I'm going to show you how to enter adverts into your programs. And five, and so around. So I actually do this every morning when I shave. Sounds kind of silly, but I'm done shaving when I'm done within 24 serfs. So it's pretty doggone simple. Some of them 
will bog the whole doggone system down with all this doggone flashing. Who knows where it's coming from? Maybe coming from this. Look at all this flashing. Um, each time that flashes, these countdown timers aren't um, NIST time or standard time. They're computer time, and they're interleaved with all kinds of garbage. So um, people really should uh, strive to make their their web pages uh, not uh, bandwidth hogs because the bandwidth hogs mess up the timing so I think you get the the idea of how I do that and, um, in uh, 10 minutes every morning actually less but that's it so thanks